Just over one year ago, Argon 40 started selling the Argon 1 Pi 4 case. This was a revolutionary case. It really did change things around. They moved some ports, they had a door to board. They, they did a lot of things with this case and it's well received. It's still a great case, but... Now there's a new player in the Argon 1 portfolio. The Argon 1 M2. Now what this does is brings M2 SATA and it does also bring a few other things like infrared and it moves the HDMI ports into standard HDMI ports. But this is a great case. But what about all those people who still have Argon 1 cases and they want M2 compatibility? What do you do? Well, Argon 40 did think of you too because here is the Argon M2 expansion case. Here it is. Okay, what this is is a nice, neat little slice that replaces the bottom half, basically, of the Argon 1 case and enables you to use M2 cards inside here. It doesn't add some of the other features of the M2, but it's still a, a good price upgrade really i mean the m2 is is, is um getting up there for especially for a pi 4 case in the prices so anyway let's take a quick look at the m2 expansion side for the argon one case so yeah you get pretty you pretty much get what you see here you get uh, the bottom slice from the argon one case that's been redesigned and engineered so you can install an m2 card now the benefit of an M2 card is speed. This thing boots fast. It's UASP compatible. So if you want the most productive Pi 4 system you can get, and you want the fastest Pi 4 system you can get, this is currently the way to do it. So yep, just remove the little USB that links the bottom slice to the top slice. So you do lose a USB free port with this case but I don't really think that's too too much of a, a problem so let's just spin this around okay this is a new argon case so let's just open it up so you just pretty much you take this slice here the bottom slice with nothing on it throw it away you don't need that bit anymore with this expansion um, you can still obviously use SD cards if you really want to in this case it doesn't take away anything from that and um, it just gives you an extra option of using an M2. You've got a nice little M2 logo there. And as you can see, when I squeeze it down tight, it is actually a very good fit. It looks neat. It does add a little bit of height to the case, but it looks like it's meant to be there. So obviously when you've got a Pi 4 in here, that would just slides in and links the, the two pieces together. Um, you've still got access to this magnetic, oh, it's hard to get off. But there you go, you still got access to everything like you did before. And this thing just snaps back on. Boom. And yeah, so the Argon 1 is still a great little case. And with this expansion board, it uh, gives you another option if you really want the best Pi 4 experience you can get. And the fastest, then yeah. But yeah, I mean, here's the M2 case or box or other, but yeah. That adds a few more features, but this is the one to look out for. I mean, some of them, the marketing there maybe is a bit confusing, so I just wanted to make this little video, try and clear things up. It's a great little case. Thanks for watching, and I hope your day is, or has been, as awesome as you are.